Tonight, the family of a local activist, Maddie Jackson, is remembering what she meant to them and the community where she leaves a more than 50 year legacy. Well, in this neighborhood, they call my mom the mayor of Summer Hill. She was known for getting things done. No task ever too big or too small for Maddie Jackson. If you need anything done, you want anything to be done in the community, you go down and you see Maddie Jackson. The family of the Southeast Atlanta activist says she'd fought for what she believed was right since she was a child, making her first petition at the age of eight. Once she found that voice within, there was no stopping. Local leaders say she was an advisor to political and religious leaders, including former President Lyndon B. Johnson, meeting with his cabinet about policies to protect the poor. In her unofficial role as mayor, she changed the face of the Summer Hill and Peoplestown neighborhoods, which led to Turner Field and the 1996 Summer Olympics. She wanted to make sure that her community had a fair opportunity as other communities. After years of fighting for others, in her 90s, she fought the city of Atlanta to keep her home from eminent domain. Hers was one of more than 20 homes located in a flood zone. With a cane in her right hand, she marched into Atlanta City Hall, demanding she and neighbors be heard. She called a spade a spade. She did not hesitate to say what she wanted to say. The city demolished dozens of homes, but Jackson was allowed to stay out of respect for her contributions to the city. In her 98 years, she became one of the architects of Atlanta's history and progression. She just was a true champion. There will never be another Maddie King, Ansley Jackson. And that is for sure. Jackson's family says they find it fitting that she would pass so close to her friends C.T. Vivian and Congressman John Lewis, all of them warriors of change.